Hi, Chris Dillon here of HobbyGameDev.com, and today I'm going to show you how to build some real basic levels using just a few minimal sort of techniques inside of Blender. I'm going to be using the newest version of Blender that's currently available at this time, 271, at the time of this video. Of course, Blender is available for Mac and for Windows and for, I believe, Linux. Yes, it is. So uh, help yourself to Blender if you don't have it yet. I'm not a modeler. I'm not trying to throw, show you how to be a great 3D modeling person. But I just want to cover the basics to build, you know, a level structure, uh, be able to envision a space and make it so you can play through it. So the free version of Unity. You don't need Indie Pro features uh, uh, or the, the licensed version for doing the kind of stuff we're doing. The free version will work great. So if you don't have that, get that from Unity3D.com. So you're going to need Blender to build levels, Unity to drop them in and treat them as levels. Now the project that I'm going to be uh, showing, the game that I'm leading over in our community at Our Hobby Game Dev, Lighthook. So our Hobby Game Dev is basically a space where we make online collaborative games, non-commercial stuff, just people getting each other practice. So now we're in Unity. It's like a, a, a very basic, but it's an example of a space built using Blender very quickly, uh, which we're going to use here as our level selection. But so this is Lighthook in its current version as of 0.3. Now the core mechanic is that you can grapple to any surface. And you can grapple to a wall, you can grapple to the Eiffel Tower, you can gra gra grapple to a grandfather clock, to a giant tentacle, a uh, misc. And anything you grapple to becomes the surface from which you next launch. If I jump to an actual example level, here you see there's, there's some moving obstacles I can latch onto. And I can use that to kind of ride around. I can also attach to this spinning planet. This is an example of kind of a game planet. This is a very disorienting kind of thing. Uh, it's just sort of an experiment in gameplay. But these, these spaces can be built in Blender or in Maya or in 3D Studio, really any 3D package. And uh, today I want to try to use Blender to do it for free. So that's a little bit about Lighthook. Now, yeah, of course, whatever your game is, you can use this technique to build, if maybe a first person shooter or otherwise. Uh, to build a space in Blender to use in your games. So let's open up Blender, 271. Differences to other versions, especially recent ones, uh, will of course be pretty minor. I'm going to click away from this window just to close that. Now this is the default scene you're going to be looking at when you start in Blender. And what I want to cover in this next video is actually going to be just basic manipulations inside Blender. So I'm going to end this one for now. If you already have known your way around how to move the camera uh, and so on in Blender, then uh, you can skip this next video and go straight ahead to the one we're going to show just our, our real minimal techniques of uh, ring cuts and extrusions uh, and normal inversion to build rooms. Uh, but so that's all I've got for the first video. I just want to introduce what it is we're doing and why. Uh, and I'll pick right up where I left off in video two with just basic viewport navigation in Blender.